<laughs> Hi guys, we're 15 Underground and today we're going to talk about disaster holidays. Sorry for not uploading more regularly. We were really busy with school, but seeing as school's finished and it's vacation, we're going to upload more regularly. The reason why we're going to talk about disaster vacation is because Josh and I are going to Spain next Monday and we're really looking forward to it. Yes, so we expect this to be a really good vacation. Although sometimes your expectation does not live up to the reality. Does it, Killian? No, it doesn't. So, have you ever had a bad holiday? I, ha I had a bad moment on a holiday. I went to Nepal once and we were uh, we wanted to have a hiking for two days. And we, so we booked the hiking for uh, three hours a day. We wanted to walk three hours a day. But instead of that, we were walking eight hours a day. <laughs> And we're not really hikers, so it was terrible. There you've got his story. But now we also went on the internet to find out other people's stories of disaster holidays. And here they go. So we found a story about this guy called Dave, who lives in the eastern of America, and who wanted to meet his, his auntie in California. So, but seeing as he would lived in the east, he had to take two planes. First plane would stop in Dallas. But at the moment they were going to stop, his, um, his captain said that they couldn't stop, they were last in lane to stop and they didn't have enough petrol so they had to land in Louisiana. Well, after two hours of waiting in Louisiana, he could go back to Dallas again but seeing as he was late, he missed his second flight going over to California and by that time it was around 2am and in Dallas he had to wait three hours for his next flight. When he finally landed in, Ca in California, he phoned up his auntie to ask if where she was because he couldn't find her. And then she was apparently sleeping in a bed because she thought his flight was cancelled. After a few hours he was back home, but then he realised something. He forgot his glasses at the Dallas airport. Poor Dave. Poor Dave, indeed. <laughs> So the next story is about Margaret and she went to Cancun in Mexico with a friend of hers. She met a really nice boy there named Daniel. Daniel and, and Margaret were having a good time. I don't know what they were doing. But uh, after a while, uh, Margaret wanted to have dinner with Daniel. So she booked at a very nice restaurant, restaurant and she called uh, Daniel and said, would you like to have dinner with me in a restaurant? And Daniel said, well, I'm really sick, I'm sorry I can't go and so she she would not <laughs> After that her friend called her said uh, hey Margaret I met a really nice boy and uh, a friend of him wants to have a double date with us so she, so, she, so she thought okay and she went downstairs and she saw her friend standing there with Daniel Ooh. Naughty boy Daniel. Oh, oh, oh Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. So I found one of this person who is not really that intelligent. I mean their complaint was literally the beach was too sandy. The beach was too sandy? Hold oh, on, oh, oh, oh. A beach has sand on it. And you start moaning about the beach being too sandy. So I've got another one here. Um, it's about Casper. Um, and he went to Egypt. Casper is from South Africa, and he went to Egypt uh, to see the uh, pyramids. And he wanted to ride a camel, so he rode on a camel. After that, he had to pay the the man who was in charge of the camel. But Casper realized he only had South African money with him. Do you know what he did? No. He jumped off the camel, camel, and ran away. <laughs> he just, he just, he just, he just, he just, yeah. He just ran away. He just ran away. Casper, you are brilliant. So now I've also found one of this guy who had a uh, crappy vacation at some water park named Chris. And this was his, his complaint. We booked an excursion to a water park, but no one told us to bring swimming shorts and towels. Like literally, how daft can people get? <laughs> it's it's so <laughs> daft. It's logic. What's wrong with you? Now I find an, I found another one. And these these people, I don't know, I don't know where they come from, but these people are just they're just smart. They just are. There's one of the guy who said this. We had to queue outside with no air conditioning. 
right? I'm just done, literally. How on earth can there be air conditioning when you're outside? I just, I just burn my head. <laughs> I heard. I'm just done, I'm just done. Right, that's going to be edited in. <laughs> yeah, sure. There was this guy and he complained. I was bitten by a mosquito, but no one said they could bite. No, that is an adult man, yeah? An adult man who does not know that mosquitoes bite. I'm done. I'm just done. So thank you guys for watching this video, please drop a like down below, subscribe to us, share this video and comment down below with your shitty vacation. So seeing as we're going to Spain, we will be vlogging the whole trip. We don't know if we're gonna vlog each day or a couple of days or making a vlog of the um, whole vacation, but we're gonna do that. Thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time.